I'm about to write this story about my mentor, Percy Smiley, who I looked up to, I admired. He was the best example of a positive Smiley in my family who only gave me good advice, good mentoring, good family history facts. Nothing was like, oh, I don't talk about that or don't ask about that type shit. So... Percy, my grandmother, all the smileys I looked up to have passed away, unfortunately. And that's why it's taken so long for me even to build up enough courage and strength to write about them. Because it's hurtful when I'm stuck here with all these horrible family members that don't act like family, don't represent family. They're just horrible fucking people. So I'm going to just focus on the ones that were positive to me. Throughout the time they were living and throughout my life that deserved to be written about. And Percy in particularly told me I could write about him when he was still living. Therefore, I don't need no permission from his widow or his children when they know I'm his predecessor anyway. They know he mentored me. They they know he, he was the coach. He was the leader. He was so many great things. Positive male influence in my life. And remarkably, he was a cancer. Because most of the uh, people I don't like that are males are cancers. But they don't represent what it truly means to be a cancer. Percy did. He was always positive and level-headed. Like, no matter how fucking hype I get, and y'all know I curse and get hype and get loud, no matter how much I would get extremely excited, Percy would stay calm and collected. And I'm like, damn, that's amazing. The cousins who have that gift, I salute you because I don't have it. <laughs> a motherfucker can get me to curse, can get me to scream, can get me to fight. Like, yeah. I, I'm getting better, though, the older I get. I just have zero patience for bullshit. So that's what it is. People trigger me. It's a lot of karmic relatives in my family. But Percy, my grandmother, it's certain ones that I don't never really talk about like that that need to get spoken about because they truly represented what it meant to be a smiley. And I'm talking about before me. Now I represent what it means to be a smiley. And that makes sense because I learned from Percy, my grandmother, and all the old school smileys. Not these new school niggas who will kick you while you down and laugh at you when you're unemployed and don't have a job and damn near homeless. I'm talking about the ones that looked out for their family, looked out for their siblings, looked out for their uncles and aunties, looked out for their nieces and nephews, looked out for their grandchildren, them types. So... It makes sense why I would praise them and talk about the great, the greats, because there's very few greats left at this point.